Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a little update on the Windows 10 main 2020 update or version 2004. So how is the rollout going? So there are um, a little, you know, things here and there that um, are not uh, compatible yet or not working yet. So uh, the first to put things straight because a lot of people say, well, they pulled the update. They did not. They're still rolling it. It's just that they are adjusting depending on some of the things, including the new uh, the glitch with the Intel Optane memory. Uh, I have a fix on the other video that I posted. If you have pinning errors, um, then check out the video. Intel has a fix for the problem uh, with that random uh, problem and that random uh, error. Now, for the rollout, how many people are getting it very few and that is intentional because they always do this um, roll it out very you no know, only a very small amount of computers at first so most people that have and if we look at the blog posts if you're not forced it uh, if you've not forced it most people that have updated are going fine and I have a lot of people here on the channel confirming that their update went perfectly well. Now, um, that's why I always say not to force it, because forcing it means that you uh, might be actually going into problems. Then again, a lot of people here on the channel forced it and seem to have no problems at all. So um, it's rolling out. It's still out there in the, um, in the Windows servers. It's still being pushed very slowly. I get tons and tons of people saying, well, you know, I've been checking every day. It, <laughs> look, if you, ha you don't have it one day, you won't have it the next day. It's going to happen at some point, but it, it's not going to happen that quickly. Um, it's going to be interesting. So tomorrow's Patch Tuesday, we're going to have security updates. I don't know if in June they will be pushing some bug fixes also, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see that for sure. Um, they, of course, are blocking for the most part people that, you know, if you go and seek with the Windows updates or if, um, you know, you might have a message that says that, uh, that appears over here that says that your machine, you know, they're rolling out a new version of Windows 10, but your machine is not compatible yet. That is what a lot of people are seeing. And it's simply that there's something still not 100% um, right on your machine and they are going to, f you know, change or fix it. And once that is done, um, it's going to roll out. One of the things to note is that the majority of uh, blockage of Windows not getting into your machine for the version 2004 is not Microsoft Windows itself having a problem. It's third-party software or drivers that are blocking it. And that is probably 90% of the blocks, meaning that third-party uh, you know, companies that make your hardware um, or um, software like you know, antivirus are not updated yet. And so Microsoft, seeing that, doesn't push the Windows update as long as those are not done. So a lot of people that are waiting a long time to get updates for the new versions of Windows actually are waiting for the manufacturers or for the software maker to actually make updates, not for Windows to fix anything because it works well. It's just that it needs to have those new drivers before it can be pushed. For the rest, it's still rolling out very slowly and probably less than, you know, I don't think more than 1% or 2% of everybody out there is actually seeing this on the servers. Um, it's interesting to note the diversity of, of, of PCs and people, um, it, it's interesting to see people not understanding um, the basics of, of, you know, the version push. Uh, I get a lot of comments of people saying, well, I don't understand. This is a brand new PC. Why doesn't it see it? It has nothing to do with the PC being brand new or not, uh, whether you see or not the version of Windows. Um, and for the most part, like I said, it's not even Windows the problem. It's that the manufacturer of that brand new PC is slow to update the drivers needed for Windows to actually work. 
Uh, many of you have multiple PCs and are sharing your experience of, oh, I've got four PCs. Two of them have seen the update, two of them don't. Or, you know, one of them has that message that it's not compatible, the others are okay, or or none of them are seeing the update. So, And it gives the impression on a lot of people that they pulled it because they don't see it, when in reality they didn't pull it, it's just it's not there yet for you. That's it. So um, it's still rolling out, but very, very few people actually have it. And uh, a percentage probably forced it with the media creation tool. And, you know, I, I see a lot of people saying, oh, well, you know, just use the tool and force it. Or I see a lot of YouTube videos from other tech channels saying, oh, well, uh, you know, you just force it here and that's it. Uh, well, no, don't force it. And once again, you know, don't don't worry. This is eventually going to show up and there's nothing groundbreaking in here that you absolutely want to have as a feature so uh, you know no problem there so just wait it'll, it'll arrive someday and uh, you'll be happy to get it when it does for the rest um, if you look at the uh, background noise of you know problems or not it seems to roll out with very few problems in reality um, and the majority of people having problems are the ones that forced it uh, from, from the observations we have. But there are little things here and there that are not compatible or don't work right, and of course that means that it's blocked on your PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.